we have gradually come to the q and a session i'd like to thank the experts thank you experts for uh, answering uh, the questions in a written way uh, we ha we had 25 questions asked initially uh, and many of the questions uh, had to do with montenegro's uh, with, with Montenegro and let's well let's discuss the questions that we still have pending here's the interesting question what kind of a program would you uh, choose would you yourself choose Vadim please join us I would choose the Montenegrin program because it's cheap and because my children can become citizens of EU in five years down the road and I, and I have the citizenship of Israel I can live in Israel uh, and travel throughout the world but uh, in 2020, we had a situation where, whereby my uh, daughter had to study, had to be admitted for the master's degree studies, and uh, that became an issue. And uh, the issue had to do with the citizenship of uh, the EU citizenship. At Apex Capital Partnership is a licensed partner in many countries you implement the, uh, this program in many countries and Montenegro can be a country of interest uh, is it a, an advantage or disadvantage that Montenegro is not a member of the EU it is an advantage in terms of the cost it's a huge advantage if you compare the Montenegrin program with the existing uh, European programs of Malta and uh, Great Britain Needless to say, the Montenegrin program is much cheaper, but the Cyprus uh, program, uh, but, but 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 the Cyprus program right now is two, is 2.5 million USD, but it used to start from the same cost as Montenegro program. How much time? Uh, the Montenegrin passport for a four member family uh, turnkey is about 440,000 uh, euros in all, all, all the travel expenses and fees inclusive including including our services well, that is a good budget. Once again, is the passport going to be somewhat different? No. Uh, unlike many other countries that differentiate between the local people and other citizens, the the Montenegrin passport is the same as the single passport. The difference between uh, the native Montenegrin citizen and an investor is that the native Montenegrin citizen has no right to have another citizenship, whereas any investor has uh, the, uh, the the right to maintain their previous uh, citizenship. It, it's super. Do you, do you have the Montenegrin passport citizenship? Unfortunately, I don't, but I'm working on it. That's beautiful. That's a very good, uh, especially given the fact that the family has to do with children. Is there any other understanding of family there? The marriage is man and woman uh, based upon the um, certificate of marriage. Uh, you, can, you can include children from the first and second marriage uh, given uh, the, uh, the, the the parents of those children can confirm their 
uh, agreement to let the children uh, undergo the process of obtaining the citizenship. The children have to be schooled. They need to be financial. The major condition is that they should necessarily be financially dependent on the main ap applicant. They cannot be working. They cannot have their own family. We're talking about children under the age of 18 or uh, even older, but without family. Uh, in our case, a child, a, a child can be 40 years of age, but uh, they cannot live independently because they have certain problems. They need to prove the existence of these problems. Uh, and in such case, they are eligible. Or there might be a 30 year old um, boy or girl uh, studying at the, the master's degree courses and we need to provide the certificate of their studies. How much time does it take to get a citizenship? Back uh, le last summertime, we would get the, the government decision within 50 days plus or minus. Right now we need to wait for 100 days for the government solution. Uh, so it's about, now it's about 110 days plus another month and you can move in. Usually clients think uh, from the point when they decided to, to do it. Usually, but we actually are uh, counting the number of days from the from well the day one is when we translated all the documents into the official language and sent them to the to the Montenegrin language and our office also on top of that would compile all the uh, re remaining documents open up two escrow accounts in the Montenegrin bank translate all the documents into the Montenegro language and pay all the fees, the government fee and the developer fee, and that entire package of documents confirming the 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 truthfulness of all the investments and uh, all the documents is then is then um, submitted to the Department of Immigration uh, to get the receipt, and from that point we consider the number of days. There is, by the way, another clarification here, uh, whether or not people correctly understand that there is no uh, obligation of uh, declaring, well, I would, I would, I would, I would say it in a slightly different way. Does the Montenegrin citizenship imply the Montenegrin tax residency? As you said, that there are no requirements uh, with regards to the to the amount of time uh, you have to stay in the country. You can get the the, the 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 citizenship and never visit the country again. Well, this is a misunderstanding. If you possess a passport or a citizenship of Montenegro, it is not. It, this is not equivalent to the tax residency status. There are several countries, for example, the United States. If you get the green card, you become the tax resident. And there is, that is a, an absolutely different story. Uh, God forbid to get there without being prepared. As for Montenegro, if you want to become the tax resident, according to the law, what within 180 days from getting the... Well, well, we, we need, you, you need to bring the document or certificate testifying to the fact that you have seized your tax residency status in the country of your origin and only only then you can 
the decision is made uh, for you to become the president in Montenegro. You got the passport in this particular case, and you might be living over in the United States or Ukraine. Uh, and there's no virtually there's no difference except for mm, being able to travel to the to the country where you have the passport whose citizenship you have as for the tax residency issue you need to work it out uh, everything having to do with multi residence this issue needs to be uh, properly Uh, this issue needs to be properly worked out. Uh, you might you might have different real estate uh, objects in different countries, and rich people. Uh, well, th this might, might be a big burden. What kind of taxes are there in Montenegro? So far, the the uh, Montenegrin taxes are not very lar very large. Or burdensome but as soon as Montenegro becomes a member of the EU um, the tax rates might change uh, okay. they, will, they, they, they might increase up to nine percent for legal for, 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 for legal entities what about the what about the um, tax rate for the uh, physical for financial persons I don't remember exactly, but uh, but the tax rate is not higher than that of our country. I think all the issues regarding the issue of tax residency and having to structure your business to to uh, transfer it over to Montenegro, uh, you, we have lawyers that can help you do that. We help you process your citizenship status uh when it comes to but when it comes to the um to to, to other issues uh, relating to business uh, and enterprise activities etc as well as tax issues we hand these issues over to uh, our, our professional colleagues we have different stories too and it's very difficult to to encompass the entire picture to define the entire picture within five minutes time. Our, our office is dealing with all of these issues with regards to all the uh, jurisdictions. We do work out these issues and we'll be happy to help you. That's why I was trying to uh, make it easier for us to understand how would the program uh, be uh, properly understood by ourselves because we need to perceive it in a legal fashion on our own we need to understand the legality of the program from our personal standpoint so um, we're talking about the citizenship and uh, the tax residency and uh, residence permit etc there's here's another question there is no automatic taxes emerging uh, as you move over there there is uh, something was said about the united arab emirates um, uh, there are taxes over in united arab emirates but uh, they're paid by the companies whereas the natural persons and residents don't do they not pay taxes at all and from a practical standpoint, we can say that uh, there is no, virtually there are no taxes in the UAE. We, we, we pay 5% uh, of VAT. Uh, the, uh, the United Arab Emirates companies are paying different types of taxes and duties. There are no there are no inheritance taxes in UAE. Well, there's there's the Sharia law uh, enacted in UAE. No, I cannot discuss this because there are beautiful jurisdictions uh, or by the GM, the AFC, and
and uh, if we if, if foreign citizens have assets there they are not subject to the law of sharia more moreover they can be subject to the laws of their own country so many of the many of the things that uh, uh, many uh, many of the legends that are disseminated they are meant to frighten people or some 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 of some of it uh, has long since been cancelled perhaps it was the case that was the case many well, two three decades ago but that's not the case right now that's why, that's why I was saying that it's very important to have the the updated it's very important to be updated on the newest information to the latest information uh, if you are a, a natural person and uh, you don't you don't have to submit your tax declaration right as a natural person no you don't have to do it so the risk of becoming a tax resident is no risk per se it's a privilege many people are aspiring to become residents and even get the documents confirming the status vadim has joined us now which is a pleasure uh, we've been discussing the uh, questions regarding the kind of program we would like to choose and everybody of course likes what it is that they're pr proposing olga have you become uh, the resident of uae well i have been a resident of uae for a long time this instrument allows me to uh, effectively solve certain uh, certain issues and allows me to appropriately to plan our lifestyle and family lifestyle but i'm very thankful to the country for uh, letting the residents to feel home even if they are if they, even if they have the status of a resident only also, I'd like to uh, accentuate uh, one other point uh, to potential customers. According to the questions, I, well, I can judge that there are certain potential customers. Uh, and the question is whether or not it's important to travel to the country. It's, at a certain point, of course, you have to travel there. You have to visit the country. But if you uh, continue your participation in the country uh, in the program you will have to continue coming to the country and a lot of false legends will be this disannulled as to the dreadfulness of uae uh, it's 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 very strange it's it's very weird to hear such false legends some people say how do you live in this arab world well that arab world never says that somebody is bad uh, they're very tolerant to other cultures and religions they allow you to to uh, have your own lifestyle just like you used to live in your own country so we have a great it's a great pleasure for me to be able to to disprove these false legends uh now we were talking about montenegro and touched upon emirates again uh, what kind of banks do you work with or cooperate with we work with we interact with any bank that is licensed in uae but it's important to understand all the um all the intricacies of the case before we choose the bank to uh cooperate with so we study the profiles and only then we uh submit our application usually we submit those appli the application to three banks at a time uh, we have had periods we have had cases when we would spend nine months to uh to to go from bank to bank and we would we would we would uh, study the profile of 15 banks uh, uh, and eventually we would go through 15 banks instead of three banks as we used to promise at the outset uh, Dmitri asked a question 
but if if you if if you uh, if you get if if you are refused can you get the refusal for example um, uh let's let, let's say if you got if you got uh, the refusal uh can you reapply for the program after the refusal you will not be able to uh reapply uh, if, if you got the uh montenegrin refusal for citizenship no immigration lawyer will assume your case um, after you have been refused but uh, but we need to give credit to all the uh, lawyers uh, be before assuming anybody's case uh, we, we we are scrutinizing the the, the 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 profiles of uh, these lawyers you need to understand me we don't we don't need these reputational gaps or reputational uh, lapses uh, we, we, we would not we would not assume um, uh, we would not uh, cooperate with uh, people that um, that have had problems in time past Let's talk about refusals. Can you get a refusal over in Slovakia, Vadim? Yes, you can. There is an upper, there is a uh, a probability like that, but unlike uh, what Sofia has said, in, in, over in Slovakia, uh, this doesn't mean that you cannot reapply because uh, if uh, the papers uh, given the quality preparation of one's papers the refusal is very um, improbable usually they say that they refuse to admit somebody's documents for the following reasons and then the, there's a list of reasons that they point if you um, if if you rectify those reasons then you can reapply for the program thank you very much what about the uae can they refuse and why so actually uh, the there are always chances to 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 get refusals uh, but you need to manually you need you need to consider every case at a time uh, and look for loopholes and gaps and potential problems if there are no such problems uh, and you get the refusal uh, well chances are that 95 percent of the case 95 percent of the time you can reapply well some, sometimes uh, well, medical examinations provide results uh, saying that there is a hepatite or something like that. In such a case, of course, uh, one can get refused. Um, I can see one question uh, from Hallett. Uh, uh, this is rather a comment. He's, he's, he's trying to comment. It. Yes, that's right. That's a comment, but it's important to understand that when you pay for 10,000 USD, it's important to uh, come up with a roadmap to understand how profitable is it going to be for you. Another question has to do with citizenship, and uh, let's consider it um, in with regards to three jurisdictions what are the advantages of citizenship of the emirates uh, slovakia and montenegro and if is if there is the military duty or some other aspects that um, could be considered an advantage or disadvantage Who Thank you. Okay. As for the military du duty, military consignment, uh, uh, 
the investors do not owe anything to the country, no military duty, and the boys are living in peace. For example, over in Israel, you can ch choose uh, according, well, based upon on the agreement between Israel and Russia, you can choose where to serve your, uh, in the military. Uh, whereas over in Montenegro, there is no, nothing like that. Should we talk about Montenegro? <clears throat> There's a question as to, uh, is, is there a probability that Montenegro can um, fail to become a member of the EU? We are very hopeful. We're not, we're not, we're no prophets. We cannot uh, prophesy about it. Uh, since 2010 uh, through 2012, Montenegro is a candidate. Um, uh, it's it's um, it's in top ten countries that uh, are trying to become the EU member states. It's the next country, and they're trying to do everything in an excellent way to show that uh, they are moving to the bright EU future. If the EU doesn't collapse by then, then everything will be all right, probably. There's always a, uh, there's always a probability. We, we discussed it in our presentation, the visa-free travel through Europe, uh, the uh, possibility of uh, getting the E2 visa, uh, the United States E2 visa, the, uh, the, the possibility of educating your children, uh, etc. Should we talk about citizenship in UAE? You said 186 countries. 160, 168 countries could be visited on a visa-free basis by... Uh, you, you, you can also... You can work in the scientific and research area. That's another advantage. What are the quotas? Does the new legislation envisage any quotas? So far, there hasn't been a single word about the new quotas. They're trying to attract and allure as many uh, talented people as possible to the country. I think they will be considering every application uh, on a case by case basis. Vadim, what is better in Slovakia? Is citizenship better or uh, residence permit in Slovakia? You said that the residence permit allows you to live there for 10 years and then get the citizenship. What's the advantage of the citizenship? Uh, the citizenship is a constantly, it's a permanent status. You, you, don't, you don't need to long protracted the best it, it is vesting you with all the rights and obligations of the eu uh, citizen you get the social security uh, finance social funding etc also i'd like to briefly uh, answer the question uh, asked by you ivanka before uh, the uh, we began to discuss the issue of citizenship as to what are the advantages of either state? And you said that uh, that, that that everybody is um, uh, everybody is praising their own country. Uh, I like. Потому что я здесь живу, а I, I'm, I'm living in Slovakia and I like it very much. Not because I, I live here, but because it's a beautiful country. But I, I wouldn't like to say that we're better or worse than the Emirates or Montenegro. If you remember, there, uh, 
there was a song like that. Uh, actually, when choosing a uh, project, uh, the residence permit type of project, we are trying to solve our specific uh, tasks, our specific, we're trying to reach our specific objectives. You know, I've been working uh, in, in this market for 20 years, and my first project occurred back in the year 2000 and it was the citizenship had to do with the citizenship of Belize. so when our customers are are uh, choosing something choosing any programs that uh, the programs have to to be suitable for their specific objectives if if your objectives coincide with slovakia would be happy to help you uh, get a residence permit and even citizenship in Slovakia. So there is no uh, such notion as better or worse. Uh, some some pro some program or country can be suitable for the customer's objectives, or uh, it could be contrary to the objectives of the customer. Well, the it, it was because of the question that they asked. Everybody chose their own program, and they're t telling. Uh, about their own program the, the slovakian citizenship is good in that it's a country of the eu with all the implications security social security and slovakia а что что 100% безопасность slovakia slovakia is absolutely is 100% uh, safe in the daytime well uae uae is safe too montenegro is safe as well well let's talk about the pensions retirement fees there is an information i don't know to what extent you understand this if there is a status like that uh, if, if, if you got a certain if you got a status but you are if, if you have a status in the country of some kind but you're not employed in the country the can you claim to uh, have to, to, to get uh, can you claim to 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 have the pension or retirement fee or some social allowance but there is an international or interstate agreement on mutual recognition of pensions and social allowances. The point is that Slovakia, Ukraine, and Slovakia and Russian Federation have an international agreement on mutual recognition of the pension uh, pro provision. So if you have the right to, if, if, if you're eligible for pension, retirement fee, retirement allowance in your own country, there's a high probability that you will get uh, appropriate pension in Slovakia, uh, which is also applicable to UAE, to Montenegro and any other country. As your labor, as, as your experience, uh, as your working experience will be taken into account. The residence permit itself doesn't make one legible for uh, to, 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 to get pension, to get a pension. If you lot, when you apply for the residence permit, you also sign up uh, a point a document that says that you will not be you will not burden the social protection system of Slovakia uh, but of course there are such aspects as insurance education uh, family reunion uh, you can um, you can get the Slovakian uh, insurance and uh, depending on your status, the social 
uh, function, the social allowance, well, you will either get the social allowance or not. Uh, these issues are to be particularly specifically scrutinized uh, on a case-by-case -case basis, especially when we talk about um, children, people that come, that move over to the, the country of destination with their parents and and uh, you need and they need to study this uh, particular um, issue and an area of activity the government of course well and of course they need to consult with uh, lawyers but the transfer of pensions is a traditional conventional practice uh, does anybody else want to as something well uh, it would be interesting to consider uh, how uh, to consider the 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 process of uae citizenship program development in six months time is there a pension program in uh uae yes there is one how about montenegro is there is the, is there a pension uh in montenegro uh, well there is one is, it's ranging from 125 to 200 plus euros, but the situation is not very um, favorable. So people usually ask this question in an our Montenegrin uh, are our Montenegrin colleagues would say that they do not count on that pension. And of course, we need to consider, uh, when it, of course, we need to consider it on a case by case basis, but the pensions are usually paid as a result of uh, somebody is living, somebody is living in a country, pension is taxes. Um, and so on. That's the uh, pen pension is is not something that that is dumped on our head from the heaven. I mean, you have to 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 pay taxes to 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 have pension. Well, let's talk about money. You were, I understand, you were talking about this. What is the threshold of program admission? and uh, perhaps there might be some additional expenses in a year down, uh, down the road. How much should people plan if they want to get a residence permit, uh, a residence permit and citizenship in UAE, Montenegro and Slovakia? How much do you have to spend to enter the program? Well, I'm waiting for your command. Uh, you need to pay 250,000 euro investment in the northern um, project, which we presented today, Mon uh, titled Montes Mountain Res uh, or 450,000 euros uh, worth of investment should be made to the southern project or any other authorized government project. On top of that, you need to pay the benevolent non-return 100,000 euro uh, contribution. On top of that, you need to get 15,000, you need to pay 15,000 euros per the main, per main applicant and uh, 10,000 per every dependent one. On top of that, you need to translate everything into English, uh, notarize confirmation of all the documents. Uh, on top of that, you need to uh, pay for services, and that makes about 440,000 euros altogether. There will be no additional expenses. Uh, uh, when, when, when the applicant pays for, uh, well, re makes the renewal of their passport uh, that is that costs 35 euros uh, no additional expenses as for the project the person will contribute to if the developer project has um, 
the, the investor can get 30 to 50 percent from of revenues from developers uh, for example mantis is paying 40 percent and uh, they will have the right to reside uh, on site Many of the developer projects are requiring additional expenses to to to, to service their uh, to to maintain their suits. But we usually warn our customers about that. If so, we we'll say we usually inform them by saying that they need to choose a program that will not require that later when will not require the maintenance fees to be paid what about uae how about uae well everything depends on the uh, the way uh, the the, the, kind of, uh, everything depends on, on on the way we are entering the country uh, should we enter the country through the investor visa uh, which is issued for real estate investments. Of course, we uh, pay some duties for the for their ex ex for the visa extension, uh, which is which is less than one thousand USD. And it is medical examination inclusive. She she would talk about the citizenship via business investments. Uh, we need to understand that there is the annual license uh, renewal fee. As for uh, the students, of course, the, the 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 students have to pay for uh, to 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 extend their visas or to renew their visas. But as Sophia said, on the annual basis, uh, projects uh, imply the annual maintenance fees. And, uh, another point is that once you move somewhere, you need to live somewhere, and some you need to either purchase that that housing or rent it. Well, that of course will depend on, on what it is that you prefer. How about Slovakia? We would like to. You you were talking about it, but uh, we need to we need to uh, revisit these issues for people to to um, allow to to let people make their notes. For example, talking about expenses, we're, we're, it's a four to five thousand euros um, for residence permit. Should we talk about the capital? Uh, it's about thirty thousand euros. The this money should be deposited to the corporate account, to the personal, family account, and should we consider the overall budget to the point of the residence permit? It might be thirty-five thousand uh, per five years. For five for five years period of time. Should we talk about the housing rental, the uh, Slovakian, the Slovakian legislation points, uh, defines the minimum uh, duty to be paid uh, to, to renew your residence permit. If you have the residence permit and are waiting for the citizenship uh, status to be awarded to you, uh, you, you will be incurring some insignificant uh, expenses. What's the, what's the, the question is, what's the reason for the 2000, uh, for the 2000 for, the, for this for this quota of 2000 applications family applications with regards to montenegro as far as i know there are no quotas uh, in slovakia or emirates to date six 
there are 65,000 people with uh, with residence permit in Slovakia. Thank you very much for asking. You can get in touch with every speaker because all the contacts that they were asking about is very relevant. Moreover, those who are listening to us in English, the organizers have translated all the presentations into English if they were uh, submitted in Russian. And you can glance and read through the presentations in both Russian and English and even re um, and even watch the videos again. Thank you very much, all the participants. Thank I'd like to thank the speakers. I'd like to thank the organizers for providing the platform for this fellowship. I uh, was personally interested in, in asking a lot of questions uh, thank you very much for your questions and we'll see you next time. Please visit the Boston Conference site and uh, participate in the upcoming events. I'm really expecting to meet every one of you in person. We're hopeful that very soon this opportunity will emerge and you can see the uh, um, uh, in Emirates on March the 21st, in Kiev on April the 21st, in Moscow and in St. Petersburg in May. Uh, well, otherwise we can have online meetings prior to that, which is absolutely safe. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you very much.